Here's a hand-drawn schematic of the uh, pump and uh, I'll point out each uh, part individually. You got the half inch tube here, clear plastic tube, quick connector adapter, half inch, and that's uh, basically the tube will slide into this quick uh, uh, connect adapter and you've got the threaded end on the bottom which will feed into the PVC elbow three-quarter inch to a half inch and the half inch is threaded female uh, on the inside then connected to a three and a half inch piece of PVC which will connect to the check valve and you'll see the direction of flow for the check valve then connect into a four and a half inch PVC which will connect to the PVC T valve same exact thing on the other side, connect to a 12 inch PVC pipe at the top of the T-valve here. Now the handle, uh, you're going to need to drill a hole in the top of the uh, uh, cap that you get and again it's a 3 quarter inch PVC cap. It's going to be a half inch hole to fit your half inch dowel, wooden dowel. And the dowel is going to be cut to uh, a little less than 12 inches because you've got to put your foam rubber down here along with your washer and your screw so that's going to add on some uh, space and basically uh, when you cut this dowel after you've cut the tube you want to measure it so that the end of the screw is flush with the bottom portion uh, of your your tube that goes into the T-valve here because you don't want this foam rubber to go past this edge uh, it'll it'll create unnecessary wear for this foam rubber. So this dowel is going to be a little this half inch dowel is going to be a little less than 12 inches long, and uh, I'm using foam from a a, a little uh, bathtub toy, you know the bathtub letters. But you can use a flip flop. The the importance here is that that foam needs to be of that consistency, the consistency of a flip flop. Now if you're using a thick flip flop then you only need one piece. The, the piece that I'm using is about half as, as thick as a flip-flop so I'm cutting it into two and I'm going to have two pieces down here along with the washer that's just going to be a little bit smaller than the foam and the screw which will all, all those parts will screw right into the dowel and of course you want to make a handle for uh, the dowel uh, itself. That's the schematic and now we need to cut the pieces. Next thing you want to do is uh, cut away all the burrs from each end of the pipe. And you can use a knife for the inside, you can use a file, uh, but you want to make sure that those burrs are taken out. So I've traced a circle on the uh, foam that I'm using, and I'm actually cutting it out with uh, an X Acto knife. You want to try to make this as round as you possibly can make it. So here's my piece and I'm going to go ahead and fit it. I want to cut two of these. I'm going to fit it to the end of the tube right now. It should fit snugly into the tube. there should be no spaces and to get it back out you just want to use your dowel and push your push your dowel through the reason I want to go with the two pieces is because uh, uh, they're both not perfect but together they make a more perfect seal if that makes sense so that's why I decided to go with the two pieces uh, or stick with the two piece uh, uh, design. Uh, at this point I want to find the center hole uh, in, in, in these two which will be an easy thing to do. I want to take and um, drill the hole in my dowel and I'll be back with you. Alright, I want to drill the hole into your dowel, the end. And Again, I'm going to measure the dowel later um, simply because I want to get the rubber pieces on the end of it first. Make sure you're dr uh, drilling a good straight hole. Drill the half inch hole in the center of your cap 
so that the uh, dowel can fit through it. After finding the uh, center hole on your, your foam, screw the foam along with the washer onto the top of your dowel. Once you've accomplished that, then uh, we're going to take the 12 inch piece of PVC pipe and uh, insert the foam and dowel uh, into that. Now it should be tight. Uh, you definitely want it to be tight and you're going to bring the PVC down just until the washer or the nut is flush with the top of the PVC end. You want to go ahead and mark the other side of your dowel uh, with uh, a marker so that you can actually cut the dowel there. Now that I have the dowel marked where I want to cut it, I'm going to cut it and this will ensure a perfect length for uh, the uh, plunger. Now remember this is going to differ and that's why I didn't give you a measurement because it depends on the type of material that you're going to use up here as to how long the dowel actually is going to be. So I would recommend that you measure that out after uh, all is said and done just before assembly so that you can get an accurate uh, measurement. Put your cap on You are now ready to assemble the entire project. So I went out and bought this uh, this pump for 55 gallon drums. Pretty nice little versatile pump. Cost about 30 bucks. It was 30 bucks. Uh, very nice. Makes a hell of a lot of noise. There, there's a marble I believe inside of here is what they're using to seal this. And of course the tube. The, the problem with this pump is uh, not so much trans portability because you can transport it but it's how big the end is you really need uh, to step down on the adapters to do anything else with this thing it's great for 55 gallon drums um, bathtubs or anything else uh, for pumping you know large amount <coughs> large amounts of water through so I wanted to put together a pump and and, and uh, something that was a little more versatile that I could uh, break apart and carry with me relatively uh, easy uh, and they, they could do a lot of different things. You know, God forbid I'd have to siphon gas from vehicles, uh, but, you know, this pump would be able to, to do this pump I constructed. If you could take a look at the uh, schematics once again. This is what we're going to put together, and I've showed this to you before. Right now we're going to go ahead and uh, put this together. If you could just stay close up on me here. Uh, the first thing is a dowel. This dowel is measured specifically to the pump mechanism that's made of the PVC. And I wanted to measure the dowel so that it, it was flush with the top and almost flush with the bottom because we didn't want the, uh, the rubber bushing coming out of the bottom to cause, a, to cause a problem. I put a mark on it so that when it came to the top I'd be able to see where it was and I also put a rubber band limiter to uh, stop me from pulling it all the way out. A three quarter inch cap that I drilled a 5 8 inch hole into to facilitate the uh, the plunger itself. And as we assemble that, that's going to be the first part that goes on is the 3 quarter inch cap. You also want to take some Vaseline, put it on the, uh, the uh, foam rubber so that it slides a little bit. This this isn't going to bother you if, you if you're pumping water. But I would also put some down at the bottom here. Not, not for lubrication but for later on. If you catch it in the groove here, later on, you can come in if you don't have any Vaseline and scrape it out of the little groove right here and you've got extra Vaseline to uh, lubricate the, uh, the foam rubber with. The next thing you want to do is take your 12 inch PVC and insert your foam rubber side into 
and all the way down. Push your three quarter inch cap on. I'm not gluing any of this and you don't need to. I want to be able to pull this thing apart and, and throw it into my pack uh, and throw it into a bag and throw it into my pack relatively easy. The next thing I'm going to do is just take a re regular standard uh, knob for a dresser. I put a screw on it and I'm going to screw it into the top. This is going to be a limiting factor for me up and down. Down, it stops at the knob. Up, it red and it stops at the rubber band so I'm not going to pull that thing out. So I've got a good pump action and the rod is held in there steadily by the hole that I cut into the top of the cap. Put on T and again it's not that as you can see the the foam rubber is not going to come out of the bottom. You can see how much play I've got there. A lot of room there. And bam. Next thing is the four inch or four and a half inch PVC. Just sliding it right in and pushing it in uh, till it's tight. Then I'm going to put the um, check valves in. I've marked on the check valves the direction of flow. And the flow of direction needs to be the same way. So I'm putting this check valve in, and I'm going to put this check valve in, same direction. Then I'm going to put the three and a half pieces, push them in tight. Next thing that comes are the three and quarter to half inch converters, and I'm going to put them on opposite. The next thing I'm going to do is put my tubes in. Now I've inserted the tubes already into this quick uh, uh, insertion uh, or adapter and these are these are half inch tubes with the screws on the end and they just basically screw right into the half inch elbows, 90 degree elbows. Now you can put some uh, plumber's tape on here, you really don't need to uh, and I'm going to show you here in a minute it doesn't leak but you do want it tight and you can hand tighten this fine. I'm just going to tighten it with a, with a little wrench here. Um, you can do the same thing on the other side. And tighten that down as well. So here you have the whole assembly. This is a hand pump. And you can hear it. The water flows out on this side. It's sucked up on this side. Take a listen. Two hundred psi check valves, three quarter inches, and this gasket provides enough pressure to pull these check valves open. Hey, check this out. So here's my water. I carry this around pretty much everywhere I go, and uh, this is why I made the pump. Make sure the flow is going the right way. Open my container. Now this thing can, this thing can, uh, Pump and fill my container, which is nice. And you can use this. You can use this to do uh, to siphon gas if you need to. Um, you know, I'm not rec not recommending that you steal gas from people, but uh, if for some reason you need to siphon gas from somewhere, it'll also fit in a 55 gallon drum. And I'll make sure that I get the pump away from me. But check it out. And there it comes. That's what That's she said. What she said. <laughs> There's the pump in action. Pretty cool. Really enjoy this thing. Uh, cheap to make. Again, 30 bucks I spent. It does store a lot of water inside, so 
you really do need to clear it out. Oops. And uh, you can do that by pulling it apart.